Every once in a while, I sit down and I really have to think about what game I want to play next. Don't feel like going for a shooter, action adventure doesn't sound good, but sometimes you know what sounds really good? A puzzle game. This time when I got that feeling, I picked up Atama Chef, a game where you have to automate the fast food industry. This game was released on July 23rd, 2019, and I went through it on PC, even though it's also available for the Switch. After playing through the game, I want to go over where Atama Chef ends up on my list and see what it's all about. First thing I want in a puzzle game is to learn. I want the game to take me through a few easier puzzles where they let me play with whatever new feature I'm trying to figure out. There are multiple times in Atama Chef where I get this opportunity, as the further in the game you get, the more you unlock. This is done well as when you unlock something, you get a pretty small tutorial level that teaches you the new item pretty well, and then proceeds to a few levels showing you new ways to use the item. Overall, I want to give learning 46 points. After you learn how the pieces work, you have to have a controller or mouse and keyboard in your hands and actually put the pieces in place and connect them all. Even something that sounds as simple as making a cheeseburger involves a lot of moving pieces. I have to say, there are some heavy pluses and minuses to the controls. In general, placing the conveyor belts or grills, you know, easy components, feels pretty good and is easy overall. However, it's some of the more complicated machines where you start to face trouble. Machines that connect to other machines are kind of a pain in the ass. The UI is okay for mouse and keyboard, but get a controller in your hands and it's, it's pretty much game over. I think with all this information has built up building to 36 points. Now we know how the pieces work. We kind of know how to control the pieces. Now, uh, how do we solve the puzzle? The obvious and big thing in a puzzle game is, of course, the puzzles. Are they too hard, too easy, right in a perfect spot? For this game, all of the above. How exciting! But really, there was a point very early in the game where I got stuck on a puzzle for a half hour, which for the first five or so levels seemed a little silly. On the opposite end, I had puzzles way later in the game that were a lot quicker, you know, maybe five minutes in the last ten levels, and, you know, I, I want something a little more balanced. Uh, with four or five that seemed out of place, it really did annoy me. You know, I want the difficulty to just kind of ramp up steadily, with sometimes a level that, you know, maybe it's a difficulty easier, maybe two, or maybe even a difficulty harder, uh, but still just not as easy as the first few levels. Either way, I think I'm going to give the thinking part of this game 31 points. So with this game, we learned for 46 points, we built for 36 points, and we thought for 31 points. This puts Atama Chef at 113 points overall. This is relatively low on my list, with only two games lower than it, but that doesn't mean that I think it's a bad game. This is a case where I, I do think it's a good game, I do recommend that people get it, but on my list, there's just other games that are a little bit better. If you're a puzzle fan who loves the food industry, I highly recommend checking out this game, but otherwise, it might be one to skip, it might not be for you. Now with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a good one.